Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Gibbs Aero GA-10 down during flight testing. Bob Hoover Foundation funds $150,000 in aviation scholarships. And NASA finds ancient organic material, mysterious methane on Mars. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's June 11th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A Gibbs Aero GA-10 turboprop airplane went down June 4th during flight testing at the Mojave Air and Spaceport, resulting in the likely destruction of the airplane. The accident occurred around 1100 local time on June 4th. The airplane was being flight tested at the National Test Pilot School, which was performing flight analysis of Gibbs Aero according to NTPS spokesman Dr. Alan Peterson. He said that no NTPS students, faculty, or aircraft were involved in the accident. Gibbs Aero spokesman Earl Boiter confirmed the accident, saying that all safety systems worked as planned and both pilots will be fine. He said that the company is cooperating with the FAA in its investigation. One of the pilots was identified as David Wheatland of Trillian, Australia. The other pilot, Greg Lewis, was from the United States. Gibbs Aero is based in Morwell, Australia. The company is owned by the Mahindra Group based in India. After the break, new leadership for Instrum Helicopter Corporation. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Tracy Beekler, CEO and President of Instrum Helicopter Corporation, has announced that he is stepping down from his position at Instrum in order to pursue other opportunities. Beekler leaves the company on a high note with large sales contracts in Pakistan and the Czech Republic. Beekler will be replaced by Matthew Frankor, who will be taking the position of interim CEO and President while a replacement is sought. Lycoming Engines has donated 15 new engines to Penn College for use by the school's aviation program. The engines currently used by the program are more than 20 years old. The new engines will give students an opportunity to learn on power plants that are more like what they will see when they enter the workforce. The engines are valued at more than $315,000. Republic's Airways Holdings has placed an order for 50 Astro Engine Jet Fuel Piston Engine Powered Diamond Aircraft DA-40NG and DA-42-6 as a training fleet of the recently announced leadership in Flight Training Academy in Indianapolis, Indiana. The order represents the largest order for piston training aircraft by any U.S.-based airline in history. Initial deliveries for the new fleet of Diamond aircraft will begin in 2018, with the majority of the deliveries in 2019. Cubcrafters has announced a change in senior leadership as it continues to advance the company's plan for long-term growth. Patrick Horgan, Cubcrafters' executive in charge of operations and product development, has been named president. Horgan has recently focused on increasing the company's manufacturing capability and productivity. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation has so far funded aviation scholarships totaling $150,000.
These scholarships are a core element of fulfilling the mission Bob Huber laid out for the Legacy Foundation prior to his passing. Bob wanted his legacy to be an ongoing dynamic commitment to excellence in aviation, especially on the part of tomorrow's aviation leaders, said Foundation President Tracy Forrest. The scholarships are given to full-time undergraduate students enrolled at either Prescott, Arizona or Daytona Beach, Florida campuses of Embry-Riddle. Recipients must be enrolled in the College of Aviation, majoring in aeronautical science with intention of becoming a professional pilot. Everybody in aviation is aware of the professional pilot shortage, said Michael Herman, chairman of the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation. But Bob recognized that it should not just be about more pilots. He knew our professional pilots also have to be our best pilots. The Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation is a 501c3 not-for-profit foundation dedicated to preserving his legacy, the greatest stick and rudder man who ever lived, by supporting programs that are working to advance and enhance the future of aviation. The foundation was conceived and formed by Bob Hoover prior to his passing. After these messages, NASA finds ancient organic material, mysterious methane on Mars. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. NASA's Curiosity rover has found new evidence preserved in rocks on Mars that suggests the planet could have supported ancient life as well as new evidence in the Martian atmosphere that relates to the search for current life. While not necessarily evidence of life itself, these findings are a good sign for future missions. The new findings, rough organic molecules in 3 billion year old sedimentary rocks near the surface, as well as seasonal variations in levels of methane in the atmosphere, appear in the journal of Science. Organic molecules contain carbon and hydrogen and also may include oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements. While commonly associated with life, organic molecules also have been created by non-biological processes. Although the surface of Mars is inhospitable today, there is clear evidence that in the distant past, the Martian climate allowed liquid water, an essential ingredient for life as we know it, to pool at the surface. Water rock chemistry might have generated the methane, but scientists cannot rule out the possibility of biological origins. Methane previously had been detected in Mars's atmosphere in large, unpredictable plumes. This new result shows that low levels of methane within the Gale Crater reportedly peak in warm summer months and drop in the winter every year. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.